Hi everybody, me again. Yes, I am making a video that hasn't taken like a month, you know, to do again, so that's maybe a bit of a shock. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd come on and say hi. I've got some free time at the moment and I have nothing else to do. It's about half past nine at night. I'm staying up for a little while tonight because I need to take my third antibiotic. Um, yeah, I'm on antibiotics. They suck and make you feel like hell. I start my new job tomorrow. I've got to get up really early in the morning and do work. Hmm. Sounds like fun. I left, well, see I was supposed to leave my other job on Wednesday but Friday actually ended up being my last day because I ended up getting quite ill. So. Oh well, <laughs> not that there's really any love lost in there because I didn't really like the job in the first place so I'm quite happy. And tomorrow is only from half eight to half one. It's a sort of meet the people, do a couple of things and just generally get to know what's going on type thing then my induction is on Monday. So quite looking forward to having a weekend to myself. going to be strange though. I know the light in here is a bit kind of iffy at the moment. Looking to you. Yep, because, well, I don't have many lights on at the moment, and that's an effort to go walk all the way over to the other side of the room and put light on and stuff, so <laughs> I can just contend with this. Um, been trying to catch up with YouTube quite a bit more now. I still am quite addicted to making videos, I just haven't really done enough of them. And since I seem to be getting a few more subscribers as you know the days go along, I need to keep updating. Obviously, can't let you lot down, can I? I was wondering. There's been a long time since I've actually had a video response. Does anybody out there fancy having a chat? Now, for a lot of my subscribers, I try and for everybody that does subscribe to me, I do watch all your videos. Well, not all of them. If you've got only a few, I will watch all of them, but if you've got a lot of them, that's just not possible. Try and watch as many as possible and catch up with generally what's going on with you. But if I've not subscribed, then obviously I can't catch up because I don't know what's going on. I should really subscribe, but with everything that's really been going on recently, never had a chance. So. Just wondering how you really are doing out there. How's it going? How's life? What's been happening? Are you alright? Oh, well, you know what my ramblings are like and what's been going on with me, so I thought I'd be nosy and see what's going on with you. So if you'd like to make a video response or, you know, post comments or whatever, please do. Feel free to just talk, come out, whatever. I don't mind. And let me know how you're doing. I don't really know what else I can put into this video tonight. Apart from the fact that I get really bad toothache and it's really annoying me now and I'd really like to get it over and kind of finished. I mean that's what the antibiotics are supposedly doing is uh, clearing up an abscess but it's taking way too long. I'd rather just be nice and fit and healthy again, bouncy and back to my old self but it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment unfortunately. Well, need to wait and see. Because I don't really want to be taking any more antibiotics and I'm already on. Um, oh, that's it. Mm. The lighting is rubbish. Oh. Ooh! That's even worse. Now I look white. I've had my hair cut. You can't see it. Um, yeah. Unless I'm in better light, you would really you'd be able to see it. But I thought I'd have some of it chopped off and died to be a bit more sensibly for this job because um, I can't really go for the all out outrageous pink and green hair type thing unfortunately I need to actually look respectful so um, as well as that I've had to take the piercings out it's like losing a limb I've had them for about I think it's about five years I had them for so you know it's quite weird not actually have them there or you know, I think, oh I could really do it, you know, should be cleaning my piercings and I was like, no, don't have any piercings to clean. 
so might make up for it and get a couple of tattoos at some point but I'll need to wait and see about that one because obviously money and blah and moving and all that oh actually on the subject of moving um, I went to meet my landlady this morning to try and discuss um, a couple of issues that you know have occurred when trying to do the bills and the council tax and blah 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 all that sort of stuff and at the moment her partner's in the hospital and isn't very well and you know she's really dragging her heels I mean if we just sat down and got it all done that would be great but she just does not seem to be cooperating at all and it's just amazing that I've paid like a month's rent to live somewhere that I'm not actually in um, I suppose in a way that even if I'd done this and moved in you know I'd still had to pay that and then take the time to move in and get all those sorted so I suppose I shouldn't really be whining but it's just really frustrating trying to get everything sorted and when somebody's dragging their heels yeah, just rather like you know got the fuck on with it to be perfectly honest um, but yeah I mean things are not too bad at the moment um, I was talking about my dad today to the hairdresser. I used to work with her so she kind of knows, well I live in a small town so everybody knows everybody's business but she sort of knows about what's been going on and my past relations with my father and stuff like that so she's just asking how it was and you know I did feel like crying but I've got to such a point that I don't need to now. I mean I'm still upset because don't, don't get me wrong I still really miss him and I wish he was still here but I'm not in so much of a hysterical point that I have to cry every time I mention them. It's just still hard to come to terms with the fact that I know I'll never really be able to see him or talk to him, give him a hug and all those things and, and you know, I'm not really looking forward to kind of you know, Christmas and all that types of things, you know, his birthday, he, he made it past his birthday, he was only 53. But things like Father Day and stuff like that, that would be a new thing to have to get used to. Obviously, with him not being here, but I suppose it's all something that we have to go through in life, and I just wish it didn't have to happen so early. And then lots of things happened, you know, <laughs> getting a flat and a new job, and having two jobs before that, and so it was all a bit. I don't know about mental, I suppose you could say. But anyway, okay, so for nearly eight minutes now I've been rambling on. Um, I shall go and maybe make some toast, because toast really rules. Definitely. See, if you say toast, toast doesn't rule, that's just that's ridiculous. I'm not happy with you. But anyway, so I hope you're doing okay out there. And that's generally an update of what's been going on with me. Oh, see, so you keep remembering things. Thank you very much to everybody who sent me private messages. Um, in relation to my last video blog, that was really nice of you. Thank you very much. So, I hope to have everybody out there, and I hope you're all doing alright, and that you're keeping in good health and good spirits and everything. And if you need to chat, you know where I am. And if not, then keep on smiling. Bye for now.